Hi, my name is Jeremy Piercy. I'm the product manager for the 600 series Tiger Cat Skitters. Today I'd like to introduce you to the new Tiger Cat H series. So starting up at the front of the machine, we've added a couple lights to the front grille to give you better visibility in the low light scenarios. If we go to the side of the machine on the engine enclosures, we've made more robust engine enclosures. So we've heard from customers that the previous doors we had just weren't always up to the job. So we've uh, strengthened them up by putting more welding, uh, more stiffeners in behind them, and then we've also added in braking, braking bars along the bottom here so that any sticks that come up, when they hit the enclosure, they'll just get deflected away and uh, won't get jammed in between the door and the frame. We've also changed the latches on the doors. We've gone to a compression style latch, so as you fold the latch down, it pulls the door tight to the frame. So in addition to putting a new cab on the H-Series uh, skitters, we've also incorporated a few features to help uh, service and maintain the machine a little bit easier. So one area, when we talk about flipping the cab, uh, we've made it a lot easier to flip the cab on this machine. We've uh, changed our pin points here to quarter turn pins. So now you just need to turn that pin a quarter turn and that'll let you uh, flip the cab without having to pull the pins out. We've relocated the cab tilt lock bar. Um, in the, uh, the cab uh, tilting pump. So the cab tilt lock bar is on the back chassis of the machine. In order to tilt the cab over, once you uh, turn the pins, uh, you can access the cab tilt bar here. The cab tilt pump is now located here instead of at the front of the machine. Uh, so it's just simply rotate the cab at this point. So in addition to changing the latches on the air filter door, we've also made the air filter door larger. So that makes it easier to access and service the engine air filter. On top of that, we've also relocated the water and fuel separators. So now you can prime the fuel system from this location as well. So because it's so important to grease your machine and it's something that you have to do every day, we've made it easier to do some of those simple tasks. So down on the dozer blade here, we've added a grease point through the pin there to give you easier access to that fitting. And then down on the dozer pivot itself, the bushings have seals now to help keep that grease inside of it. Coming over here underneath the cab, you have easy access to the transmission oil fill, to the dipstick for the transmission, and the grease fittings for the steer cylinders and the axle pivot. Over to the back of the machine. Again, the pivot bushings for the arch and the boom have seals in them now to help keep that grease inside. And then up on the top there on the boom pivot, we've added in another grease fitting there to give you easier access to it. So some of our machines, we put bigger arch and boom cylinders on. So on the 620, the 630, and the 625, we put the 632 size cylinders on those machines. So we've done that so that you can improve your cycle time when you're picking up the wood. So one of the improvements that we made on the left-hand side of the machine is we took this left-hand door and we put a hinge on it. So this gives us easy access into the batteries and also to the drain and the fill hoses. As we watched our customers get into steeper and steeper ground, uh, we took the opportunity here to make some improvements to the hydraulic system. So the hydraulic tank itself, we've increased in capacity by about 20%. We've also incorporated uh, rubber mounts on the bottom of the tank to prevent the stresses from the frame going up into the, to the hydraulic tank. Uh, it also has uh, now a built-in center unit that gives better information to the operator inside the cab uh, to tell you when you're getting beyond the operating limits and also to warn you if you do have a low hydraulic oil level in the machine. All the flat doors on the front chassis now include a pivot bolt. So that allows you to swing the door out of the way to do access and service uh, into the machine and allow you to clean the machine out easily without having to, to drop those big heavy doors down. So the front angle door has tabs built into it to prevent that door from dropping down. And in the center of it, it's got a smaller access door for giving you easy access to the engine oil drain in addition, the hydraulic tank uh, drain has been relocated so you can now access it through that small door. And also the coolant uh, drain is also conveniently located there as well. So once you get up inside the cab, you're gonna notice a few big changes. So the cab itself is about 20% bigger and we've added about 19% window area to the machine itself. One of the most important parts of the machine is the operator's seat. We took a lot of time making sure we designed the controls with ergonomics in mind. You'll also notice the seat has a lot more rotation to it. So now we can spin the seat all the way around to op exit the opposite side door and we can also rotate it all the way straight back to operate the machine in this direction. So when we designed this cab, we uh, paid particular attention to the HVAC system. So we made some pretty big improvements there. The HVAC system itself is more efficient, uh, but in addition to that, on the control side of things, we've added in a few new features. So you still have the ability to turn on and off the AC compressor, 
uh, we've added in the ability to defrost the cab. So when you defrost the cab, it's just cycling the AC compressor uh, on and off uh, automatically. You have the ability to bring air in from the outside or you can recirculate the air within the cabin. Big change here, uh, we've, we now have our proportional fan. So when you turn the fan on, it starts at 0% airflow and will go all the way up to 100%. The uh, cold and hot control is uh, familiar to what you would have in uh, E-Series cabs. The HVAC unit itself uh, is more efficient and also includes 50% uh, more vents. So we've gone from uh, eight vents up to 12 vents, uh, giving you more vents down at your feet and also for defrosting the windows themselves. So we've completely redesigned the instrument panel on this machine. Uh, starting at the bottom, we've given you quick access into the fuses and relays and also the telematics module. So if you do need to access the fuses or relays, you can do it very quickly through there. On the side of the instrument panel, we have all of our diagnostic connectors. So we can connect to the engine and we can also connect to the, to the control system of the machine. So the main display on this machine is a touch screen. In addition to the home screen that gives you the very basic information that you need, uh, need to see while you're operating this machine, you can also dive down a little bit deeper. We have information screens built into here that give you more detailed information uh, if you did want to track that. And then we also have the ability to set uh, operator controls up to four operators and one owner on this machine. All H-Series skidders are equipped with log on. Uh, and they have the option to go to remote log as well. So if you just click on the little uh, satellite icon on the screen here, it'll give you a, a bit of information, uh, particularly it'll give you your coordinates if you do need to coordinate uh, a visit with somebody. The radio itself is Bluetooth equipped, so it has a Bluetooth microphone there, so you can do in-cab calling. Uh, you can tether your cell phone to the radio system as well. You have the option to put a CB radio. And up front here is where you will find your cab interior lights. So if you want a little bit of light inside the cab, you can switch it on there. H-Series skidders are equipped with higher pressure monitoring systems. You'll find the module for the system up here. That'll give you the readout of all the pressures in the tires. The machine exterior lights are located up here on the right hand side. Standard uh, light gives you two switches and then if you have the optional lights there would be two additional switches there. If you spin your seat around to the rear you see we've got lots of space here. On the right hand side we've got lots of space to store a lunchbox. And then up on the post here we've got a couple hooks where you can store your hard hat, your jacket and your safety vest. In addition to some storage compartments throughout the machine, we have uh, two cup holders in the machine. The cup holder uh, over here is uh, climate controlled, so if you have your AC on in the summertime, that'll keep your drink nice and cold. The cup holder over here is just a standard cup holder. So just beside the instrument panel, we've got uh, a cell phone holder here where you can hold your cell phone. And then just down below, there's a USB charging port that you can connect your phone to charge it. And then up here on the right hand corner is a 12 volt uh, charging port as well. Today we've talked about a lot of the improvements in H-Series, but there's really a lot more to it than that. If you want to find out more, just contact your Tiger Cat dealer.